tube samples here, we have the our Impress 316L tube on the right and a competitor tube on the left. Um, and I just wanted to point out a couple of things to be wary of when it comes to tube. You can see on the product on the left here, there is a noticeable heat affected zone in the weld area, EN10312, which is the European standard the tube is made to, states that the welding conditions should be controlled so that the heat discoloration in the welded area is kept to a minimum to ensure corrosion resistance is not reduced. Yeah, on the product on the left here, that is not kept to a minimum. It's a noticeable heat affected zone, especially when compared to the weld seam on the impress tube. The heat affected zone on the product on the left also brings up the question of annealing and whether it's been done correctly. Annealing is very important when it comes to press fit stainless steel systems um, because it allows the material to soften and take on the shape of the press. Um, if tube and fitting are not annealed, um, the material will be hard, it could be too hard and it will infect the integrity of the joint and the service life of the tools. Um, in addition, annealing also increases corrosion resistance. When, it, when we talk about our tube press tube, um, there is also the added benefit of a higher molybdenum content. The standard molybdenum content for 316L is a minimum of 2%. Tube press tube has a minimum of 2.3%.